Hello Cup Coders and welcome back to the Cup Code server. Now it has been two weeks since I last played on this. Um, actually I, I, I lie about that but it's been two weeks since I played the survive, played survival on this uh, or I should say it's been two weeks since I've recorded on here. Um, usually I record every, all my episodes every Saturday but last Saturday I was out of town so I had to record it the prior, previous Saturday. But I feel a sneeze coming on. So let's go ahead and grab some equipment up here. Uh, what we're going to do this episode is I want to get and build myself a nice little spell crafting altar. And I'm also going to need to make... Uh, for the loss, the word's just not coming to me today. I'm not. A crafting... No. Not a crafting altar. I just said we need to make a crafting altar. No. Yep. Inscription table. That's it. So we're gonna want to. I'm gonna want to make an inscription table and an a craft in a spell crafting altar. Um, the spell crafting altar is not gonna be of any use to us or me, and not gonna be of any use to me without the inscription table. So we're gonna have to make an inscription table. Uh, let's see, we're going to need some wood for that. I'm going to need a feather. <laughs> Definitely need a torch. And spell parchment. Now that's easy enough to make. I'll show you how to do that, actually. Need a piece of paper. There's the spell parchment right there. Now another thing we're going to need is this here. Do that. Place that on one side, spell parchment in the center, and a torch on the other side. And we have our inscription table. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set it back. And we'll place it right there. Just like that. Now we need a book. Do I have any leather in here? Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no leather in here. All right. No leather in here. Hey, I've got plenty of meat though. Let's cook up some of this meat. There we go. Get that meat cooking. All right, so we're gonna have to go out and find some leather because I'm gonna need a leather to make a book. I've got plenty of ink sack. Should have because I live right next to the water here. So that's what we're gonna need to do. We need to go and find us some leather. Unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot without leather. Yeah, we had some hardened clay left in there. All right, so we're going to head out and see if we can't find some leather. Oh! I see you. Can you come in the sunlight? I'm, I'm curious. Does the sun hurt you at all? I guess it does, huh? Come on, come on. Oh, he won't even come in the sunlight. Check that out. Ha! Invisibility won't help you, buddy. Mwah. Hey, we seem to be running a little low, slow there on the zombie villager thing, right? Isn't it? Hmm. All right, all right. So we're gonna take out the spider over here. While we're doing, while we're doing this, and we're looking for and killing these monsters and looking for some leather, um, I want to say that I do know that logins have been broken on the Cupcode server. Um, for some time, I don't know how long it was because, unfortunately, because fortunately my login wasn't broken. Whoa. Okay, mana guy. Never mind. So my login wasn't broken. My login was working just fine. So I had no idea that anybody's logins were broken. Um, but we can think. You can give thanks to uh, Joanne to any Todd. He's the one that actually pointed out to me that the logins were broken. Um, so. I've gone in. I think I fixed it, but I'm not 100% sure because, well, nobody's logged in since I fixed it. 
So I can't tell. I mean, as far as I know, it, it could still be broken. I just don't know it. But I think, I I think that they're fixed. I I really do. You good guy or bad guy? Which guy are you? All right, take out that spider there, buddy. Hey, you need help with that? You got a mana? Are you a good guy? I guess you're not shooting me, so I guess it that you are, huh? What about you? Are you a good guy? Yeah. Yeah, you are? Okay, hey. You got anything to teach me? No? Okay. J-E-U-A... Is that an H or an M? Jum? J... I don't know. I don't have a clue, man. Go away. All right, so yeah, so the logins are, are fixed, I believe. I won't know, ouch, until somebody logs in to test them, but I think that they are. Let's see, what else? Um, and whether you, if you don't watch any of my other videos, then, then I want to go ahead and let you know that we do, we were having an issue with YouTube release dates. Um, normally, I record all my shows and then I'll upload them to YouTube and I'll schedule them for release so that I don't have to worry about logging in every day to make sure that my videos get scheduled, released on a certain time. I've just been trusting YouTube to to publish them when I schedule them. But apparently, last week we had an issue. Oh. So last week we had an issue where YouTube was pre-releasing all my videos early. I mean, I would upload them today and schedule them, and then tomorrow I would log in and find out that they've already been published. And I didn't schedule them for another week. So I ended up having to go and turning all my videos into private videos. I think I might have just got lost. I don't know. So I'd turn all my videos into private videos and manually come in every day and release them when they're supposed to get released. Not the way I want to do it, but if I have to do it that way, then, then I will, you know, but it's not the way I want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and try scheduling my videos again, and we're going to keep scheduling the videos until YouTube does it again. If they do it again, then I'm not going to have any other choice but to just upload them as private and log in every day and make the one the, the necessary ones public. Um, and the only reason I don't want to do it that way is because I forget things sometimes, and I don't want to be I don't want to forget to publish a video and then have you guys sitting there wondering where it's at. The other reason is because by scheduling it, it help ah, it helps to ensure mm. that. Wow, that's a little bit slow. It helps to ensure that you guys get it released at a certain time every day. And you're not having to sit there, you know, coming back three or four times a day to check, hey, has it been released? Is it released? You know, this way you know, hey, he tends, that way you'll know that I tend to publish all my videos at 3 o'clock when I schedule them. Um, and the reason is that is, is because, like, blame the controller. Uh, I think we're actually Generic B was the one that mentioned it once. Uh, of why he does it too, or was it? I don't know. It's one of the Minecrackers. One of the Minecrackers mentioned why he schedules all his videos to be released at a certain time, and the reason is is because a lot of kids are getting home at three o'clock. So by scheduling them at three o'clock, that gives you something to watch as soon as you get home from school. Um, so I just kind of followed suit and chose three o'clock as a as a good mid range. You know that's. I'm usually at work at that point, so about three, four o'clock, I can log in. I can, you know, check my phone and make sure that everything's been published. And well, you know what? I don't know the way home, so I'm just gonna go back to spawn, and we'll show you all the changes. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, that doesn't work right now. Just so you know, the the book is missing. I have to rewrite it. So. Blah. But everything else is pretty much the same as it was before. Mm. 
waiting on it to catch up with me, I guess. Uh, let's see, what else? Friday, last Friday, was our six-month anniversary of becoming YouTubers. Uh, it, it means we've been YouTubers now for six months, and this is not working. Dude. <laughs> I am so lagged right now. That is bad, guys. All right. So, yeah, we've been YouTubers for six months now. And having looked at other channels, that seems to be an accomplishment. I know I've seen quite a few other channels that start and, you know, they go for three or four months and then they stop. Um, we've made it for six months. I think, I think that's pretty good. I don't, you know, I'm not an expert so i can't say for certain but i think it's pretty good um we have done made i have made some changes around spawn like i changed those to be nether fences inside there just to make it look nice we did change the store sign so it would look well we think it looks nicer and we changed the interior of the store um i think it looks really awesome now this way and obviously, I changed the front of the mall. I had I didn't do anything inside the mall, so I just changed the front. So that's pretty much it right there. See, we have rebalanced the economy, which I guess we can show you that while we're here. But nah, we have rebalanced the economy, so all Ars Magica stuff now has an item worth, and that means that the magic, you know, everything magical store inside the mall has also been updated and changed to reflect this. Everything has a price. Uh, for instance, um, our King Compendium here will do slash worth, and it'll tell us that it is worth $75. Now, this is the raw value. So when you come on the server, if you want to set up a store, you can you can sell it or buy it at whatever price you want. But that worth is a suggested price based on the worth of all the other items involved. So every other item that's involved in making the Arcane Compendium is calculated in with the price of the Arcane Compendium. Um, that includes, you know, oh, I did not include the sign, I don't think, actually. Yes, yes, I did. So that includes the sign because you have to have a, you have to have a, a, an item frame in order to get the book. So it includes the price of the item frame. It also includes the price of the book that you put into the item frame. Actually, no, $75. That's just the book. So it does not include the price of the item frame. And that's because you get the item frame back. Uh, you'll see that a lot of our videos no longer have mid-roll advertisements. Uh, what a mid-roll is, is any advertisement that's shown in the middle of the video, that's considered that's called a mid-roll. So you'll see that a lot of our videos no longer have mid-roll advertisements. That is because... We are now fully networked, so some of our videos should have unskippable advertisements at the beginning. So I didn't feel that it was... I, I just don't feel that it's right to force you to watch an advertisement in the middle of my show when I'm forcing you to watch an advertisement at the beginning. Now, if all the advertisements at the beginning were skippable, as in, you know, you wait to 5-10 seconds and you can click skip, then... I kind of like having the mid-rolls in. Now, I so I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know if it's going to work out very well. Um, that's because the, the required sh videos or required advertisements at the beginning of the show are not always there. They're not always guaranteed. So you're not always going to get those. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I might put the mid-rolls back in, but it really depends upon how well we do with what we've got. And that's pretty much it with the announcements and the updates. Um, I'm just going to take another sip of beer and we're going to head over here and get prepared to make an, a crafting table. Sorry, a spell crafting table. My tongue is a little dry right now. All right, I'm going to take a quick Merkle commercial break and i'll be right back all right guys i am back sorry about that brief interruption uh now that we're back at the house we're going to go back with my original plan of building the spell crafting altar um 
and getting our first spell. That way we can stop being, you know, muggles on this world. So what we're going to need, and one of the main reasons we went out there, is we needed the leather so that we can make a book. Let's see. I have... All right, we're going to need that. Seriously, I have a book in... I already have a book and quill, guys. I already have a book and... Oh. All right, so let's look. check this out real quick. Uh, we don't have any... Seriously, what the... Hold on. All right, sorry about that. One of my dogs was barking, so it was kind of... I had to go check to see what it was. We left and... We just went through spawn, but there's something I have to go back for because before we can make any spells, I'm going to need to make an oculus. And in order to make an oculus, I need some blue topaz. And unfortunately, in order to get blue topaz, I'll, at this moment, I have to either go way, 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 way out from spawn and then go mining. Or I'm going to have to go through spawn and buy it if it's for sale. And I don't remember if we're selling it in, in spawn or not. If not, then I guess I don't have a whole lot of choice. Seriously. So let's go run to the mall real quick and see if there's any blue topaz for sale over at the mall. And if not, then I guess I have no choice. I'm just going to have to go mining elsewhere. All right. And while we're doing this, I want to go ahead and say that you know, there is... Um, I'll, I'll just pass it. There is a possibility of me doing Twitch. There is no blue topaz here for sale. None. Everything but. Damn it. Dang it. All right. Now, I said there is a possibility of me doing Twitch. I have everything I need to do it. Um, the only thing, the only reason I haven't been doing it is because, well, Quite frankly, we're still a relatively new channel. Even though we've been up for six months, we don't have a whole lot of viewers. Um, in general, we do have more viewers than most. But it's still, to me, it just doesn't seem like it's enough viewers to really justify doing Twitch. Um, so I wanted to ask, you know, really, I, I'm, my, my biggest fear is, you know, if I start doing Twitch, that, you know, not, not only not, that I'm going to be doing Twitch by myself. Um, and it just doesn't sound right the way I say it, but what I mean is the, the whole reason for doing Twitch is so that you guys can watch it, watch me live while I'm playing it and we can talk, you know, you guys can talk to me in chat and I can respond back to you and, you know, that'll give me something else to talk about as well so that, you know, it'd be a little bit more interactive and stuff and, but my fear is that I'll start doing Twitch and I won't have anybody in the chat room. I won't have anybody watching me. And that's one of the reasons I've been holding off on doing Twitch. Um, is mainly because, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of followers. And I don't have it. There aren't that many of you as far as, you know, viewers. And you guys are spread out. Some of you are in foreign countries. Some of you work during the day. Some of you work at night. And so it's hard for me to know, A, if you would watch me, and B, what time of day would be best. So if you guys would, if you don't mind, if you'd like to see me doing some Twitch, you know, leave it in the comments below and let me know whether you wouldn't or wouldn't watch me. And if you would, let me know what time of day would be best for you. You know, that way I can, j I can g judge and gauge it, you know, if I'm available for doing it and... If it's something that I could do on a regular basis. Now I'm not saying that I'll do Twitch every single day. Because I can't. Uh, chances are if I start doing Twitch. It'll be on the weekends. So it'll be you know every Saturday at a certain time. Or something. Or every Friday night at a certain time. 
but it's not going to be every day. Uh, there's no possible way that I could do Twitch or any of this every single day unless it ever gets to the point where I have enough followers and I'm making enough money from AdSense that I don't have to work anymore. And I'm pretty sure I've spoke about that before and said that I don't really see that as a 100% viable possibility. And but if it ever did happen, it's a long way off in the future. So, but for now, Twitch is a possibility, but you I need you to let me know what you think and whether or not you would watch it. All right. Well, unfortunately, we are coming close to an end. I'm not going to have time to make the Oculus and that's one of the reasons why I can't make a book right now because we don't have any of this <laughs> any of this being the components to making the spells I need an oculus in order to make that and I don't have any of what I need here so what we're gonna go ahead and do real quick is I'm gonna go out and chop down some trees excuse me hiccups and we're gonna use those trees and this glass right here and we're going to make our spellcrafting altar, or at least get our spellcrafting altar started, anyways. I have an axe. I have something in my eyeballs. I have something in my eyeball. No, I do not have an axe. So we're going to grab and make an axe. So we can chop down some trees. And we still got to figure out where I want to put this thing because it's not really that big, but I'm going to need space beside it too. Because later on, I'm going to want an Essence Nexus and some of the other Nexus, Nexi, Nexi, whatever. Um, some other ne pluralization of Nexus by it. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Definitely, definitely. Let's chop some of this down and get it out of the way. And there's the app. There's an apple. So I'm thinking right over in here should be the place for me to build it. That apple too. So I'll build it right over in here. That's. I think that's a good idea right here. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. We'll put some glass here in the center. Boom. And now we need to bring, let's see, we'll face it that way. So we'll bring up the walls right here. I think that's about right. In fact, let's go ahead and verify it. We've got the Arcane Compendium, so it'll show us how to build this stuff. We've got an Arcane Altar. It's one, two, three. So, yeah, I was right. So we're going to need some magic walls, which means I'm going to have to find some Ventium dust. This is, honestly, I think I built my house in, like, a really bad place. I mean, when I first built this, I was, wasn't planning on doing Ars Magica. And now that we're doing Ars Magica, it's kind of in a bad location because I have to go way out there to find anything I need to make Ars Magica stuff. So, I don't know. I might pack up and move everything. I don't know yet. Obviously, if I do, I'm going to have to make sure I have enough money to replace this. Oh, wait. God bless it. I'm going to need stairs there, but I'm also going to want... We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stairs. Ironic. Check that out. All right.
light it up out here a little bit. Keep some monsters off my back. Don't need a whole bunch of monsters in my front yard, right? All right. Then I will put these. Do I have any dirt? I do not have any dirt. But I'm looking for the dirt for a scaffolding. It, when I'm working, especially up in the sky, I use dirt for scaffolds because it's easier to break down. So that's what we're going to build here. It's just a dirt scaffold. That's something I can stand on while I'm building. And... Sounds like my headphones are starting to die. So give me a second and find the cord to plug them in. I'll be right back after I get this plugged in. All right, I am back. My headphones are plugged in. And we are good to go. So we're, what we're going to do is I'm just going to do this. I was lucky it flipped right back around. Wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. This does not look right. Hold up. Check the compendium. One, two, three. Ah, and I'm off by four anyways. Okay. So these need to go up one. And I need four more anyways. Oh, oops. That was not good. Alright. Let's get this correct now. Those need to go up one. And then we need to do this. Bada -ba bing that back over there now what I'm building here is the I guess I call it the level one spellcrafting altar and obviously I'm not even gonna be able to finish this because I don't have the, the, the Ars Magica stuff so <laughs> wow yeah I really am kind of screwed at where I built my house at probably gonna have to move it So yeah, the center point up there is supposed to contain the spellcrafting altar item, which I'm unable to make at this moment because I have to go mining for some ores, for ours magical ores, which means I'm going to have to walk far out from spawn to go mining for this stuff. Either that or it's going to have to start being sold in spawn, which probably is a possibility. But for now, that's my spellcrafting altar, and in the next... In the next episode, uh, I'm probably going to head out and look for some ores and so we can get moving. So anyways, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Let's go ahead and dump everything off here real quick. As always, I want to say a like and a share. Let us know that you care and it gets us out there. So thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.